Mrs. Bonadies, the floor is yours. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. My name is Renita Bonadies. Um, as you know, you've seen me multiple months now, and I've been coming for <coughs> some time. Concern I have is the failure of this board to follow its policies and bylaws. After the November meeting, in which you guys rammed through 14 bylaws, by number, no discussion, I approached Mr. Lauterbach. I was told by Mr. Lauterbach that it was discussed beforehand. I questioned the Open Meeting Act because it was never discussed in public, instead behind closed doors. And then I was questioned about whether I'd even read the Open Meeting Act. And then Mr. Lauterbach went on to tell me, asked me if I was a lawyer and basically said, if I wasn't a lawyer, I couldn't interpret the Open Meeting Act. And then Mr. Hatfield joined in. Ma'am. Yes, I'm going hold to on, tell- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then this stop is, this is not, you can stop the clock, Jeff, that's fine. This is not the forum to personally attack the board members. If you have something Th to say, that's fine, but I will not allow you to attack everybody personally. There is, there is a point to this okay, that addresses the, point, the board. Then. Thank you, Jeff. The point being, this board has continued to ignore its bylaws. The superintendent has sent me a letter letting me know that this board is doing everything they're supposed to. And yet at the last meeting, you conveniently, after over a decade, dropped off the whole part of the meeting that requires approving of meeting minutes from study committees. That just happened to disappear from the agenda. <clears throat> there was no approval of meeting minutes. There was no reading of meeting minutes. There was no discussion about that being dropped off the agenda. So what has happened to the transparency of this board in this community? If your job as elected officials, excuse me, stop the clock if you're interrupting me. It was not on the agenda for the first time. It had been removed from the agenda. There were action items on the agenda. Okay, let's. The point Hold being, on. this board takes an oath to the Constitution and to do your jobs. Months before I even arrived, you had been called out on violating bylaws. You continue to not follow those bylaws. You don't work with the community. You're not open and transparent. It was justified that this board was allowed legally to cut down to one meeting a month instead of the two that had been done before Mr. Sharo arrived. And the meetings, study committee meetings, have all been made private so that nobody can go in and hear what's discussed. Instead, we get to watch what happens in these meetings, which is just an agenda full of action items. I don't know how a business can have action items with no discussions and decisions being made behind the scenes. So this board is not being open and transparent. This community does not understand that you are not doing your jobs according to the election positions which you have taken. That concerns me as a community member and a taxpayer and a concerned parent of others that are in this community. So until this board decides they wanna do the right thing, this board either needs to resign, be recalled, or be voted out at the next election because you're not doing your jobs. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. 